Hello hackers! Welcome to the new challenge where we are going to hack course vulnerability with a trusted null origin. This website has insecure course configuration that it trusted the null origin. So all what we have to do is to create a malicious website and then send it to the administrator to hack him and get his API key. And based on the credentials of Winner Peter, we are going to test the web business logic to find the vulnerability. So guys, without many words, let's start. And here we go guys. So the first step as usual, let me going to activate Foxy Proxy. I'm using Community Edition, then go to the proxy, enter spec twice and go to the HTTP history. And here we go. Now let me go to my account. And let me use the credential of winner and password of Peter. And let me log in. And there we go. So definitely my target in here is the API key of the administrator is similar to this one where I have in my account. So the first thing that I need to focus on where this API key came from. So let me check the endpoints. Let me see the first one is my account. So definitely it's not this one. Let me go to the my account IP winner. So also this is not the one because this is showing this page. And we do have another endpoint, call it account details. And here we go. So this is my target where I do have this IP key. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a malicious web page that make an action that send me this IP key of the administrator where he clicks on the link that I'm going to send it to him. So guys, let me show you how to create a malicious website. So let me go and open my VS code and here we go. So this is the one. And now let me create the HTML page. So I'm going to call it index.html. Here we go. Now let me start with HTML and here we go. So in the real life guys, this page should be realistic that showing a real content, but in the background, it's going to make my malicious code or it's going to make the attack. So let's assume that we have something in here. So let me say, hello, my friend. And now I'm going to create a malicious code. So let me open script tag and there we go. So let me start off the const, let me say const request equal to the new XML HTTP request. Here we go. So based on this object, we do have four functions to include. But before moving forward with this code, let me test my endpoint and see if it's vulnerable to the course or not. So let me send it to repeater. Here we go. Let me close enter specter. Let me send the request. Definitely I have to see my sensitive data in here. And also I can see that I have access control allow credentials equal to true. So this is, can be a good sign for me that this endpoint can be vulnerable to the origin. So let me try to test. So let me go in here. Let me say origin equal to popo.com. And here we go. Now I'm not able to see my origin in here. So this origin is not allowed, but let me do it in different way. So let me say none. And as you can see, I am still not able. And this is absolutely normal because this code is based on JavaScript like this one. So none doesn't support, but if I say null, this is going to be a little bit different. So let me see. And here we go. Now I can see that this access control allow origin equal to null. So this is absolutely a very good sign for me as a hacker to know that this vulnerable website accepts any requests from the third parties or from the malicious websites. This is absolutely the course misconfiguration made from the developers who created this website. So now let me show you how the code should be look like. So as we said, we do have this request based on XML HTTP request where it has four basics 
functions. So the first function should include the endpoint. So let me say request dot open. And here we go. So we do have this method of get. So let me say get. And then we do have endpoint. So this is absolutely URL. Let me say https two point double slash. And then we do have this slash account details endpoint. And then we do have a third parameter should be true. So I will be able to send a request. Then we do have the request, call it onload. So this function will be fired when the administrator open this page. So if you're not familiar what I'm talking about, so please watch my first video of this course series. So we will understand what this onload doing. So let me say window dot location dot href equal to and let me say popo and then he equal to and then we have the request of this response. So I'm going to send this response response and in case that is going to send as a URL so I need it in the text format. And here we go. So then I do have two other functions. The first one is request with credentials. So as you can see, we do have that low credentials equal to true. So this is definitely should be true. And the last one, I need to send the request. I have request then send function. And here we go. Now I'm able to make interaction with my malicious code with this vulnerable website. So in case that we do have a low origin equal to null and it's not allow me to do any other origins, so this code still mess. So I'm not going to send it like this. So I'm going to make it different this time. So let me show you how we are going to do this. So first I'm going to open another tag called iframe. And here we go. Let me close it. And this iframe has a specific attributes. So the first one is the sandbox. So in the sandbox, we do have some permissions. So I need to allow a form because I'm going to send my malicious code inside the form, inside the web page. So it's going to be hidden in this iframe. So the first, let me allow the form. Then let me allow the scripts because I'm going to send this script inside it. And then let me allow the top navigation. And if you want to know why I'm using this, why I need a top navigation, this is absolutely because I'm going to change the direction when I'm loading the page. And then I'm going to send my malicious code inside a document as a source. I'm going to open SRC doc and here we go. Now I'm going to copy my code and boot it in here. But guess what guys, as you can see that this attribute content doesn't accept this my script in case that it has some specific character. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy it from here. Let me go to the decoder. Let me paste it and let me encode it as a HTML code. And here we go. Now let me copy all of it and let me paste it. So here guys, I want you to be smart enough to think that in any HTML code that you are going to create in the future, you have to encode it as an HTML. So in this case, you will increase your chance to make the code work successfully. And here we go, guys. So now let me copy this code and let me go to my website and let me go to exploit server. So I want you to assume that this is your real host where you are able to read its logs. And this is what we are going to do. So let me paste my code in here. Let me store it. And here we go. Now let me send it to my victim. And here we go. Now I'm going to read its logs. And here we go, guys. Guess what? Now the administrator opened my malicious website and then my secret code run on the background. So let me copy the results. So this is the object that I'm looking for. Here we go. Let me copy it. And let me go in decoder and paste it in here. So as you can see, we have this percentage 20. So this is definitely encoded as a URL. So let me decode it so we can read it. And here we go. And as you can see, the username is administrator. Then we have email and we do have this IP key. So let me copy it. So control C, let me back to my website and let me submit the result. And here we go. 
and let me send OK. And here we go guys, now we successfully hack the administrator. So guys, if you learned something new from me, if you learned how to make a malicious web page and how to make specific attack based on this one, and learned how to find a course misconfiguration, I want you to subscribe to my channel, then I want you to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any comment or any question, please put it in the comment below, and stay tuned for the next videos.